Hi everyone, Lee Calvert here with Briggs Freeman, Sotheby's International Realty, coming to you with the weekly update with what's going on with Collin County Real Estate. Okay, so we've got 2,900 active listings in the county. That's down 30 from last week, but we're up 70 listings from August 1. So we haven't seen a huge spike in listings in the area. The active listing price on average is 686,000. That's down four and a half percent from the beginning of August. Pending sales in the county right now, homes are under contract to sell 1,679. That's up 49 from last week. It's down 297 when we uh, started tracking this in August 1. 605,000, the average price for the listed homes that are under contract. That's down 4.3% since August 1. All right, closed sales over the last 30 days was 901. The average sale price in Collin County for the last 30 days was 563,000. That is up from the prior uh, week of the last 30 days by 8,000. But since August 1, the average price has come down 6.4%. Now, when I look at a three month average, sorry, from today, prior three months, and then I look at August 1 and the prior three months, the price has actually reduced from 634,000 on average to 578,000 on average, which is an 8.8% drop. Uh, now, things are obviously still moving. The last seven days, we had 279 new listings. And in that same week, 267 homes went under contract with a buyer. So the absorption rate was almost one for one. Now, if you wanna know more about your house, your neighborhood, how you play involved with the market right now, or maybe you're trying to buy and figure out if it's the right time to buy, reach out, happy to run through that with you. Uh, go over mortgage options with a, a, a contact we have and figure out your best strategy. Head to leecalverttx.com or make it simple, reach out on the contact information on the screen and we'd love to chat with you. In the meantime, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.